Hi friends, we are going to continue coding this week. So here's our plan for today. Today we are going to learn some new vocabulary. We're going to practice using a loop and then your task for today will be to complete lesson seven on code.org. If you didn't finish lesson five last week, you should finish that one first. So here's our new vocabulary words for this week. Our first word is loop. A loop is the action of doing something over and over again. And this pink block here with those, those arrows is the repeat block. And that is how we make a loop in our code. We repeat whatever it is that's attached to this pink block inside of it that gets repeated over and over and over, however many times we say. And to repeat means to do something again. Our last vocabulary word is a review from last week, which is debugging, which means to find and fix errors. This week, when you're working on loops, you might need to do a lot of debugging to figure out where you can add in those loops. So I'm going to review how we log into code.org and then I'm going to show you quickly how to use those loops, those pink blocks. So remember, when you click on our code.org logo, you're going to click continue with Google, the red button, and then you're going to click the this yellow orange continue lesson button. And if your screen looks like this instead, just click continue up here. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to um, do some of the looping uh, code. So if your screen looks like this, remember you're just gonna click on the continue button and it will have you pick up where you left off. So anything that's not in green means you haven't done it yet. So you would need to finish all of this first, okay? And then when we're ready to do the loops, this is what um, lesson seven will look like. This is what your lesson will look help like. The harvester pick all the corn. So we need to help Harvester pick all of the corn. So we need to have her move and then pick up the corn and then move and then pick up the corn. So she's moving east. So I'm going to have her move east and then pick up the corn and move east and then pick up the corn. Sometimes people make the mistake of having her try to pick up the corn and then move, but she needs to move to the square with the corn and then pick it up. So one more time, she needs to be able to move and then pick up the corn. All right, and let's see if that works. Okay, it worked. Now, what it's going to start asking me to do is to use this pink repeat block instead. And this is how we use it. We're gonna click and drag over here. And now I am going to put the instructions that I want Harvester to follow inside this block. So she's doing the same thing over and over and over three times, right? She's moving and she's picking up the corn one time and then she's moving and picking up the corn a second time and then she's moving and picking up the corn a third time. She's doing the exact same thing three times in a row. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to give her this piece of instructions, move and pick up the corn and I'm going to put it inside this box. See how I did that? I'm just going to click so that the little bump matches, the little bumps match up. And now see how that pink block goes all the way around those instructions. And now I'm gonna pull this over here so that my bumps match up. And now it's, my code is telling Harvester to repeat three times. I could change the number of times. Three times she's going to repeat moving, picking up the corn, moving, picking up the corn. So let's try this and see if it works. It worked. So you friends are going to, um, in this lesson, you're gonna see another video that will show you how to do that. But I wanted to give you a couple little tips because sometimes people have a little bit of trouble um, getting the loop block.
to work. So today, remember your task is to try to complete lesson seven this week. And if you didn't finish lesson five, make sure you do that first. And if you finish early, you can share something that you learned on Padlet, or remember you can always try the challenges um, at the end of the lesson. That is up to you. Have fun.